Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is how to create a WireGuard VPN server on your Unify. So you do need to be running uh, Unify OS, a newer version, and a newer version of Unify. This does not work on the USGs as far as I know. Um, so you're looking at, uh, you know, UDMs, UDR, UD, UD, uh, UDW, Unify Dreamwall. So here we are. Uh, first of all, what is WireGuard? And I'm going to leave a link to this. Um, but it is a newer VPN technology that uses different cryptography than like OpenVPN or L2TP. It's uh, minimal source code. So it's uh, has minimal uh, attack service and it's high performance. So uh, I will leave a link to this because you're going to have to also have the client. So I have the client here and I'm going to show you how to install the config file. But we're going to go back over here to our UDM. We're going to go to settings. Uh, teleport and VPN, and then under VPN server, we're going to click Create New. Now you have your choices. If you've already created an open Open VPN server, you can't create uh, a second one. Uh, L2TP, you, you probably can't either. You can go check out the Open VPN video we did, I think, last week. But this is a WireGuard, so we're going to do Willy WireGuard. It's going to automatically create the public-private key pair, and then here we can select our server address. So if you have multiple WAN IPs, you'll select which one you want to bind it to. So I'm just going to do WAN1 and the default port is 51820 for WireGuard. And what you can do here uh, now is you could come down to advanced and you could change that internal subnet. You could also change the, the name server. I'm just going to leave that at default. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to click add a client. And this is where sometimes it can get confusing because you'll notice we haven't hit apply changes yet. So let me show you a couple th things here. So this one we're going to call Willie. And each user should have their own client configuration. So uh, make sure that you are generating separate clients for each user. I suggest using auto-generated. You could go to manual. You could change some of this information here. I don't know that it's going to really do you any good. Now, it's going to warn us that now is the time to either scan this QR code or download the client. So I'm going to go ahead and download the client configuration file. You're going to see that there. Um, then what I'm going to do is click Add. It gives us that same warning. Make sure that you scan this or you download this. We're going to go ahead and click Proceed. Now, before I click Apply, if I click this, I can still download the configuration. But watch this. Once I click Apply... And then I come back into the VPN server. If I click on that, I don't get that option. Now, the only way to re-download this after I've clicked apply, if I haven't downloaded it before, is I have to regenerate the key. And then it's going to allow me to re-download the configuration file. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to click save, apply changes, and that's it. So now we just need to install the configuration. All right, so once you've downloaded and installed your WireGuard client, this uh, is what it's going to look like on Windows. And so to add that tunnel is super easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Import. And uh, the endpoint, if it had a public IP, would be here. So if I wanted to, uh, if my, my machine was double natted, I could edit this and I could change the endpoint IP to the public IP address that is being forwarded through to the WireGuard box. So that's how I would um, fix that if I was double natted. And that's it. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So if you, uh, you have any questions about this, let me know down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok down below. We also have affiliate links if you'd like to support the channel that are down below and a Patreon. And if you need IT consulting, you want to get this set up, you want us to audit your network, you need storage, uh, Wi-Fi, voice over IP, reach out at willyhow.com. Uh, go over there, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, or click Hire Us. Fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. As always, I'll see you in the next video.